Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, All right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Welcome <laughs> to our first ever in-person video of 2021. <laughs> it's quite a moment, isn't it? Yeah, it feels like forever. I think Very much like. We did a couple last year. Well, on, on first, per, first video in the same frame together. Yes, for thanks a long to time. the ultra wide lens. Thanks <laughs> to the ultra wide lens on the on the yeah on the iPhone Pro. Yeah, that's Love true. That. Much more useful than mm. <laughs> giving so credit. So today for. we've got the last two flavors of C4 out of Sean's fridge. Yep, she's very happy of. We've been sat on these for a while. Yeah, they've been in there for a couple of years, I think. I got these from Anthony at Body Fuel Nutrition in Kirby, and I'm sure. We we won't look at the dates on these ones, but if, if you get them if you get them from him now, then they'll still be fine. <laughs> but these ones have been been sat for a while. Mm. We've got uh, cherry limeade and purple frost, which I'm interested to see what that's going to be like compared to the rain that will be coming out soon. The uh, the peach fizz. Orange oh, is it peach fizz? Oh no, you mean oh, orange, uh, orange dreamsicle in it? No. No, I meant I meant the peach fizz. I got mixed up because one time when we were talking about the peach fizz, you called it purple something by accident. Yeah. So I had it in my head that it was purple no, no, something. Sorry, but... dreams call it's coming out, but <laughs> okay. Uh, or is it peach fizz? I think it's orange dreams call and peach fizz. Yeah. But I, I I was thinking it was orange dreams call and purple something, but that was what you called it when you couldn't yeah. remember that it was peach fizz. No. So ignore but, all yeah, that yeah, last yeah. bit of that rain. Yeah. Sound. No worries. <laughs> which which one do you want to try first? You choose. I'll try the purple one first. Okay. I've, I've got a feeling the cherry limeade will be very good. Okay. It's traditionally one of my favourite flavours. It's the best Kool Aid flavour. I am shaking. You that excited? <laughs> I wouldn't say excited. What What would you say? It's just because I've been to the gym and my arms kill. <laughs> <laughs> I've started painting miniatures again. I've got paint all over my hands. <sighs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. Oh. I'll do. So, it smells pretty floral mm. and it tastes, to be honest, it just tastes like Monster Ultraviolet. Yeah, it does. Maybe it's not as uh, sour. No. But. We know that from testing multiple ultra flavors. Yeah, there's um, I think the sweetness on it is a bit heavier as well. But then there's more caffeine and other things in the C4, so they tend to be a bit heavier on the sweetness. I well, prefer that over the ultraviolet monster. Do you? Mmm. Yeah. That's not... really good. But as we've said plenty of times, I prefer sweeter flavors and you prefer the sour. So mm. it's it's not far off though. It's, it's not that different, is no. it? No. It's very nice, though. It's, if, if you're not seeing our video on Monster Ultraviolet, or you, if you've never had it, it's like a Parma Violet flavour. And if you've not had Parma Violets, I don't know what to tell you. There was actually <laughs> stuff in the Discord about yeah. Parma Violets today. Yeah. Some of them actually, I like them. I like them. And there's some in the Discord that absolutely hate them. I think Rizzo said they're the worst sweet in the world because uh, I think Scotty mentioned that Iceland are doing a bunch of Bam different... Violet lollies. Yeah, and a bunch of others. Um, they, they look quite interesting. I'm not sure if we'd do videos on them, but I, I definitely want to try those at some point. Cheers, mate. Cheers. This smells of... It smells just like Kool-Aid cherry limeade. Not getting much cherry. Getting more limeade than anything with like a, a subtle hint of cherry. Mmm. I like that. It is nice though. A bit different. A lot, it actually comes across a lot more refreshing. Yeah. Because of the lime. Yeah, definitely. I think that the, the lime's cutting through a lot like the the 3D green, that Ooh. is like a, a lime cordial flavour, um, rather than any sort of, it's a very natural sort of actual lime yeah. flavour. To be fair, we've never really had a bad C4 flavour. No, they've all been we've fantastic. Been, 
we've had we've had a bit of like maybe a debate over the one that was supposed to be like cotton is it cotton candy or candy floss or something because there's a a, a, a a transatlantic debate over what candy floss cotton candy is should taste like so well yeah to us it's just in in the uk it's just sugar but with in, a bit of flavored syrup on usually if that yeah uh, in america it tends to, like the pink and the blue tends to actually be flavored mm. with excuse me with strawberry vanilla or blue raspberry but here the, those are just colors and they don't they're, they're they not don't flavored really at them, all no. so yeah the, the cotton candy flavored things that we've been trying that we're thinking you know we don't know what this is going to taste like we should be expecting the taste of strawberry vanilla and or blue raspberry yeah uh, so that has just been a bit of confusion yeah. i think about that. But apart from that all the c4 flavors have been like really top quality well even that one i think was good it yeah. was just we were a bit like is this meant to taste like yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what i meant yeah, yeah. um yeah I, I i rate them um bit bit ambivalent about bringing the c4 series to a close though yeah <laughs> bit um, happy that we've finally looked at them after been meaning to for so long but it's like we've got no more c4 to look it's a shame to. they're not like out and out like you know on the shelves in this country because yeah that would be great like even if they were like two pound a can for what they offer you yeah you know i think the can design is fantastic the, you know the, the color on the top to just try, you know to signify what flavor you're picking up because yeah. you'll get you know people get used to flavors it's like i see yellow and blue i know that's lemonheads rain and stuff like that yeah just like monster do you know but then the, the eye-catching black and yellow like danger symbol of you know when c4 i think people would pick these up all the time and they'd love them and prop you know yeah just, like i say it's just a shame they're not a a UK brand as such. Well, if 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 they were, they'd be in five hundred mil cans, and they'd probably come down to about one fifty. Because I think that's what um, I mean, though. But it's to, if you're if you're you know if you're you know going to the gym or you know you're doing some kind of sport, and this would really this would really do do bits for you in yeah. performance. And I think as an alternative to what is out there in the UK, these are definitely worth it as as a bit of a treat. And with the extra expense, I'm not sure if it'd be worth yeah. getting all the time. But they're still only. Fifty. I think they were two pound when I picked them up. They might mm. be a bit more now, but I mean that's that's nothing because rain is so price marked at one fifty. But we for months before the price mark, we were quite happily spending two quid on that. Yeah, yeah. We were spending two quid on Monster Ultra Hydro Sport, yeah. and that's thirty nine p in home bargains. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I I, th I think it's good. Yeah. I'd pick, pick it up. So on that note, I think it's time to end. Thank you very much for joining us. I know at the start I said it's our third video, so probably go after our first video we're going to do after this. <laughs> so yeah, on that note, it's time to end. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.